David, agentic AI is all the rage at the moment in 2025 and might be for a few years. Big question, though, for a lot of people in cybersecurity, I think, is, is it giving attackers an even greater advantage or is it going to somehow make lives easier for defenders? Well, the way I think currently the industry state of the union is, it potentially can provide much better additional advantage to the hackers right now because of the things that we mentioned. Good examples for that, AI hacking agents that can, yeah. de- can basically you can today solve any, let's say, scraping challenge, scraping defense, bot defense that the anti-scraper is providing you, that uh, the, the model can understand it and generate a script that we bypass. So this is one example. The second one is like the new generation of attacks, like zero clicks, et cetera, against agentic infrastructure. So currently, I would say balance tilts towards the attack. However, yeah. our job in the industry is to move the balance back to the right position to the defenders. So I believe, and we in Radwell work very hard in both aspects that I pointed out in those Pillars with security pillars to shift the balance back to the to the defender, obviously, and it will be a race, an ongoing race. There's no change in it. It's an ongoing race between the good, the good and the bad. And, and I think both industries are facing now the first real, the first uh, scene, the past, first episode of AI against AI. So it's take one AI against AI. AI is actually now. Everybody waiting for episode two to come. And uh, we're at the midst of that. 